Now, a natural gas mixture consists of the following components. Now, we are asked to calculate the apparent molecular weight of the gas, gas gravity, and the pseudo critical temperature and pseudo critical pressure. B. Calculate the compressibility factor of the gas at 100 degrees Fahrenheit and 1400 PSI. So, now let's begin. We are given, now let's write down the given values. The given letters. Now we are given component C1. The more fraction of C1 is 0 0.8 the more fraction of C2 is 0 0.004. The more fraction of um, C3, which is propane, is 0 0.002. The more fraction of nitrogen in the gas is 0 0.014. The more fraction of CO2 is 0 0.010 the more fraction of h2x is 0 0.120 now if you look at this critically now these are the non hydrocarbons these are the non hydrocarbons in the mixture so before we continue we need to check if the total of the more fraction is equal to one, it's supposed to be equal to one. So now let's check. Let's check by adding them together. Doing addition, we, we're going to make this of our calculator. Now let's add 0 0.5. Um, sorry, 0 0.85. Plus 0 0.004 plus 0 0.002 plus 0 0.014 plus 0 0.010 plus 0 0.120. So this is one. So this gives us one. So we have 1.000. So now we can make use of this without any issue. Now let's now also write down the molecular the molecular weight of each of these components, which is MW. So the molecular weight of C1, which is methane is 16.04 so the molecular weight of c2 which is uh, ethane is 30.07 the molecular weight of propane is 44 is 44.10 the molecular weight of Nitrogen is 28.01. The molecular weight of CO2 is 44.01. The molecular weight of H2SO4. No, H2, H2S is 34.01. So now we have gotten all this. Now we are asked to calculate the apparent molecular weight. The apparent molecular weight, how we're going to do that? We need to calculate for each component small fraction times the molecular weight of each component. So now we're going to multiply 0 0.850 by 16. So what 
we'll look at what it will give us. So now we are going to say 0 0.85 times 16.04. So this will give us what? That thing. 0.634. Now 0 0.004 times times 30. 0 0.07 will give us um, 0 0.12028 now now 0 0.002 times 44.1 will give us 0 0.0882 now 0 0.014 times 28.01 this will give us um, 0 0.3874 Three nine two one four zero point zero one times forty four point zero one will give us zero point four four zero one zero point one two times thirty four point zero eight will give us what give us 4.0896 now the summation of the product of each molecular weight molecular uh, more fraction component times the molecular weight component is equal to now Let's sum all this together, see what it gives us. Let's sum them together. Let's get our calculator and do that. And do the summation. So we have that point six three four plus 0 0.12028 plus 0 0.0 82 plus 0 0.39214 plus 0 0.4401 plus 4 0.0896 so we what we got was 18.7 so we got 18.76432 so what we got here 18.76432 Four, three, two. Now, the apparent molecular weight of the gas mixture is equal to the summation of the more fraction and the molecular weight of each component so which is equal to now 18.76 can say pounds per mole now so we have gotten the apparent molecular weight. So the first question 
A, option A, we have got the molecular, let me just write it like this, the molecular weight of the gas to be 18.76 pounds per mole. Now, the molecular weight of air, sorry, of air is equal to 20, okay, let me say 20, um, let me, um, So the molecular weight of air is 20 a 29 pounds per mole pounds per let me say pounds per pounds per mole pounds per pounds mole. So now the gas gravity. Gas gravity of the gas mixture is the same thing as the molecular weight of the gas divided by the molecular weight of air. So, which is 18.7642 divided by 29. So, this will give us what? Now let's use our calculator again to do this math. So let's say divide by 29. So we have 0 0.6470. So 0 0.6470. So this all got. So now the B part, they say we should calculate the critical temperature. They see the critical temperature and they see the critical pressure. So now we're going to use the formula where you have the pseudo critical temperature is equal to 170.491 plus 307.3. 344 times the gas gravity so the gas this is the gas gravity g times the gas gravity so we can now get our pseudo critical temperature having gotten our um, gas gravity we now substitute the value for the gas gravity into this point so we have 0 0.6470 so that means we now have to calculate this this is times calculate this so that it will give us our pseudo critical temperature so our pseudo critical temperature let's now employ uh let us use our calculator so we have 170.491 times that times sorry plus 307.344 times 0 0.6470 this will give us so our temperature is 369.34, 369.34, it's now 369.34 degree rank time. So let's check again. Okay, mm -hmm. that is it. So. 
this is 9 so our pseudocritical pressure the formula for our pseudocritical pressure is 709.601 minus C8.718 times G, which is the gas gravity. So that means 709.601 minus 58.718 times 0 0.6470 is equal to. Now let's now apply R. Let's apply R. Um, let's use our calculator so we now have 709.601 minus 58.718 times 0 0.6470 equal to we have 671.61671.61671.61 ESI A. So we have gotten these two values. We've gotten these two values. So that is the value we're going to use now to do all the calculations. So From this information, we have gotten our pseudocritical temperature to be 369.34 on Rankine and pseudocritical pressure to be 671.61. A. So, having gotten this, we now had to go to. Now, we. When you look at the, the composition of the gas. So, this is what we call a saw gas. Now, this saw gas, the, the percentage of the non hydrocarbon in the mixture is more than 5%. So, since it's more than 5%, we need to calculate for the adjustment factor in this equation in this problem now for us to calculate the adjustment factor first we write the formula for the adjustment factor which is this which is equal to 120 times a raised to power 0 0.9 minus a raised to power 1.6 plus 15 times b raised to power 0 0.5 minus b raised to power 4.0 now where a is equal to the sum of more fraction of CO2 and H2S why b is the more fraction of H2S. So the value for A is equal to the more fraction of CO2 and H2S. So the more fraction of CO2 is 0 0.010 plus the more fraction of H2S which is 0 0.120. So this will give us what? 0 0.130 so this is the more fraction this is b this is a 
So our B will now be 0 0.120. So we have gotten our B and we've gotten our A. So now let's calculate the adjust adjustment factor. So the adjustment factor will now be equal to 120 times A, which is 0 0.13. So 0 0.13 raised to power 0 0.9 minus 0 0.13 raised to power 1.6 plus 15 times a and b is 0 0.12 raised to power 0 0.5 minus 0 0.12 raised to power 4.7 so so the answer for the adjustment uh, for adjustment factor we can now be calculated. Let's use our calculator to do the maths straightforward. So let's go straight to the answer. Let's look at what should be the answer here. Um, we have 120 times will now see brackets open 0 0.13 raised to power 0 0.9 minus 0 0.13 raised to power 1.6 bracket close plus 15 times bracket open 0 0.12 raised to power 0 0.5 Minus minus zero point one two raised to power four point zero then bracket close equal to we have all together nineteen point seven three. 19.73 all together we have 19.73 19.73 degree run time degree run time So we have gotten our adjustment factor to be 19.73. So now let's now apply this adjustment factor. Now to calculate the adjusted CD critical temperature. So the, this is adjusted CD critical temperature. So it is equal to the pseudo critical temperature minus the adjustable adjusted adjustment factor. So um, we we have calculated our pseudo critical um, temperature to be three six nine point thirty four run time minus we have this to be nineteen point seven three. So this will now be equal to. So if we calculate, if we now subtract this. So 369.34 minus 19.73. This will give us 
3.9.61 regular can so we have gotten our adjusted CDO critical temperature now let's calculate our adjusted CDO critical pressure so for the formula for the adjusted CDO critical pressure is equal to the pressure the CDO critical pressure times the CDO critical the CDO the adjusted CDO critical temperature divided by the CDO critical temperature plus B one minus B times the adjusted adjustment factor. So <clears throat> now we have calculated our our CDO critical pressure before to be six seventy one point sixty one psi a now we're going to use it now and we know our pseudo critical temperature to be 369.34 degree Rankine. so we're going to use it in this formula so we have our pseudo critical pressure, which is 671.61 times our adjusted pseudo critical temperature, which is 349.61 divided by divided by our pseudo critical temperature, which is 369.34 plus B, which is 0 0.12 times 1 minus 0 0.12 times 19.73. So let's calculate our adjusted then. Let's calculate our adjusted pseudo critical. Pressure. So to do that, let's now employ our, our calculator. Now to use our calculator, now we have we have six seventy one point six one times. 349.61 divided by we now have brackets open 369.34 plus 0 0.12 times brackets Open one minus zero point one two bracket close times nineteen point seven three bracket close again equal to so we have six thirty two point one seven six thirty two point one seven so our final answer is six thirty two point one seven psi a. So we've gotten this. So invariably, we have gotten our C two. We have gotten this value. Our adjusted uh, pseudo critical temperature and our adjusted pseudo critical pressure. Now let's calculate our pseudo our pseudo reduced temperature pseudo reduced temperature to be to be the temperature divided by our adjusted pseudo 
critical temperature. So now, and the temperature, the temperature that was given is, is 100 degree Fahrenheit. So the temperature T is 100 degree Fahrenheit, while the pressure is 1,400 1, PXIA. Now, we need to convert this temperature to Rankine, which is we add uh, plus 460 to it. So this will give us 560 <coughs> in degree Rankine. So having gotten that, so we have 560 divided by 349.61 so this will give us what now let's calculate this we have 516 divided by 349.61 so we have 1.60 now for the C do for the C do reduced pressure we have the pressure divide by the pseudo critical we adjust pseudo critical pressure which will now have 1400 divided by the adjust pseudo critical pressure which is 671.61 no 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 not which is um, 60, 632, sorry, 632.17. So we are going to divide that, we're going to do that. 1400, 1400 divided by 632.17. One seven, so we have roughly we have two point two, so we have two point two. For this, we have two point two. For this, we have one point six. So we're not going to go back to the charts to be able to calculate our compressibility factor because that is the final answer that's the final question the final question in this to calculate the compressibility factor so we have calculated the seed to reduced temperature to be 1.6 and the seed to reduced pressure to be 2.2 so now let's look at the chart to see what the answer should be look at the chart now here is 2.2 for the seed to reduce the pressure the value for the seed to reduce for is 2.2 while for um, the seed to reduced temperature is 1.6 which is this so where 2.2 intersects with 6 well, with 1.6 which is this point is what 0. Point, um, let me see where it intersects is here this point that intersects at this point which is 0. Point, 0. 0.85 0. 0.85 so it intersects at 0. 0.85 so that is the answer so that our z should be 0 0.815 so this is the compressibility factor of this gas mixture so this is the final answer thank you for watching have a nice day do well to subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so that anytime i make new video you will be the first to watch thank you and god bless you as you subscribe thank you have a good night sleep